Back to my channel, today we're going to be talking about job searching as a sociology graduate. Now, the most common objection I hear from people who want to study sociology is that their families say, what kind of jobs are you going to get? What kind of career are you going to get? You know, what are you going to do after you get a sociology degree? So today, I want to answer that question and help you along this job searching journey that I'm also going through, that I have been through many a time, and it's just kind of a constant thing that you go through, right? So here are my tips on how to job search as a sociology graduate. Okay, so first of all, I want to talk about my strategy for finding jobs, right? A lot of the times when you go into job hunting, you're just like so overwhelmed, there's so many sites that you can look at there's so much you can do you just don't know where to start and that is the biggest blocker for most people i think when it comes to job hunting and it certainly was for me but once i started breaking it down it became so much easier so number one my tip is to remember that is a numbers game right at the end of the day the more applications you send out the more likely you are to receive a yes or a no so yeah once you realize it's a numbers game it becomes a lot easier in your head because you're just sending out as many as you can and with no expectation, no pressure, no pressure, especially on yourself, because a lot of the times when you get rejected, this is my number two tip, like just kind of don't take rejection personally. This is such a cliched piece of advice, but it really does help you. Because for me now, I feel like I'm just totally numb to rejection because I've set up so many applications in my entire life because as you've seen from this video where i was rejected and didn't end up getting a placement yet i sent out so many applications and got rejected from all of them <laughs> so at this point i'm kind of numb i don't really care anymore i'm just like send out as many as i can and someone's gonna say yes right the more you send the more likely you are to get yes um so my third tip is to actually narrow down things that you enjoyed in the past, whether that is work experience, whether that is shadowing someone at work, whether that is a part-time job, right? What do you enjoy? Because as a sociology graduate, you are kind of free to do whatever you want. There are so many options. You can go into HR, marketing, design, which I'm going into. Um, what else can you do? You can do PR, you can do civil service work, you can do research. There's so many things. Right, what exactly did you enjoy in your degree? Did you really enjoy research? If you do, then you can kind of explore what kind of jobs there are in that kind of research field. Do you want to do user experience research? That's really in demand. Do you want to go into government? Do you want to do social science research? Do you want to work for a think, think tank? Do you want to work for a, a charity or something that's doing research? So there are so many options for you. It's just a matter of narrowing it down. So in this next section, I'm going to talk about what sites I'm using because like I said, there are so many sites and you often don't know where to start. So let me give you three of my favourite ones to get you started. So the first one that I highly recommend is called Otter, O-T-T-A dot com. They are a new website for job searching and what makes this really good is that it's such a clean user experience. Like it's got bright colours, like an, a nice yellow um, and it looks really clean and clear and one thing that I think puts it head and shoulders above the rest is that it's clean, it's clear, it's not cluttered because like a lot of job sites are really messy, you know like Total Jobs or Indeed, like they're great but they show you so many jobs at once that you get really overwhelmed but with Otter you focus on one job application at a time which I think really does solve one of our biggest problems as job hunters. And another reason that I like Otter is that the recommendations are really, really personalized because whereas when you go on LinkedIn or Indeed, you type in, I don't know, marketing assistant, you'll get a lot of marketing assistant jobs, but you also get like marketing executive and you're like, I didn't put in executive and my level is not suitable for executive level jobs. So Otter is really good for personalized and actually really relevant job um, applications for you. Secondly, my next my next favourite site to use is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is easy to use, you know, if you're looking for a job you likely already have LinkedIn, so it's great, you can get alerts like many other job sites. However, I think it's just easier to navigate than a lot of the other ones. Less ads, um, pretty personalised job requests I think, um, to, you know, your alerts that you set up and I think it's pretty good it's okay but it's 
it does the job. And lastly, I also applied for Graduate Recruitment Bureau, which is a website and a service that um, sends you uh, job vacancies based on your preferences in your application. So they email you actual job applications. You don't look at it through their site. So I think this is great because they actually called me and asked me about, you know, what I'm looking for, what my plans are, what my goals are, what my career goals are. So it's almost like a mini consultation session, which is quite nice um, to know that someone who knows your goals, <laughs> um, someone's looking for jobs for you that fit this criteria. So I think it's pretty good. Um, and they've also sent me a lot of recommendations, which look really good. Um, good pay and all of that stuff. Um, so for context, I'm looking for marketing and user experience design roles. I probably should have mentioned this earlier. Um, but they sent really good ones so far. Um, the only reason why I haven't applied is because I'm currently in an internship, so I don't need to apply for them just yet. So like I promised, I am going to share my Notion job application tracker template with you right now. So if you go in the description, you'll be able to duplicate the template that I made and use it yourself. Um, and I think is really great because you, one, you can see how much more effort you've made, you know, all the applications that you've made. So you can say to yourself, look, you know, it's not like you're not trying. When you get discouraged, look at the tracker and be like, I've actually applied for so many. Um, and it's also just really good to see where you're at with the applications, um, even though I'm not very good at updating it. But I think just the initial act of putting it, everything that you've applied for in there is really good just to see it all visually. So I hope that helps. Um, and yeah, so if you want to see more of these videos, definitely comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about job searching as a sociology graduate in the comments. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.